Since the appearance of uh, their first album in 1976, my next guests have attracted uh, an intensely devoted audience for the remarkable songs that they write and also sing. And this is their latest album entitled, I have it right here, Kate and Anna McGarrigal. And here now are the McGarrigal sisters, Kate and Anna. Kate and Anna McGarrigal, and the song we heard is from the, your newest album, and the, the title uh, song, Love Over and Over Again. Tell me about the, uh, uh, this uh, peculiar uh, drawing, or whatever we have on the photograph there. Or maybe it's not so peculiar. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe it's your favorite. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually it wasn't our favorite. We wanted uh, another engraving by Gustave Doré, who was the artist. By G Gustave? Gustave Doré. I'm sorry, yes, Famous sir. Famous engraver. There's your... <laughs> Thank you. This is, uh, of course, uh, Jimmy Fitzgerald. Uh, oh, excuse me, could I have the oil and vinegar on the salad, please? <laughs> and care for soup? <laughs> 
Uh, they, they asked for water, and, and now you have water. I'm sorry. Who who did the engraving? Gustav. Gustav Doré. Uh -huh. Not and Gustav. Gustav. Oh, I'm, forgive it's me. I'm, I'm a little clumsy. <laughs> uh, and a, this is not the one you wanted. We couldn't get the rights for the other one, and um, our cover artist happened to have that one in his house. So what was, was the other one you wanted? Uh, it was of it was of a, a La Fontaine fable. The grasshopper and the ant it was two sisters. One was banishing the other from her door. Yeah. This is pretty uh, one was highfalutin hold, stuff, isn't it? One was it? holding a guitar, uh -huh. and the successful one with the house was telling her to go away. Oh, yeah. It was kind of... It's ugliness, though, isn't it? Yeah. Successful <laughs> sister unloading the uh, poor, unfortunate slob of a sister. <laughs> uh, but that's not true with, with you mother. two. No, uh, we're both poor, unfortunate no, slobs. No, 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 you're not. <laughs> now, wh where are you from? I mean, where do you live now? Montreal. Montreal. It, uh, that's a, an exciting place to be, isn't it? I would uh, guess. Yeah, when... The schools are out on strike half the time. Lots of things go on up there that you don't hear about down here. Yeah. But it's nice. It's kind of, uh, it's different, you know. It's, yeah. it's French speaking. Yeah, that would be different from New York. A little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, the, the Canadian Film Board was going to do, or perhaps did, a documentary film about the, the McGarrigal sisters, did they? What was that project about? Oh, they wanted to do a film of us writing a song, and uh, we started, we promised, we didn't say that, uh, we could write a song on camera, but they wanted us to try. And as it turns out, they spent two weeks in my dining room while we were trying to write a song. <laughs> wow, that's, now that's really pressure. They had cameras and, and uh, technicians. Yeah, and they, and had a, they had a light behind the window. It was almost like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, no matter what time of the day yeah. it was, whether it was sh you know, the sun was shining or raining. Yeah. How close did we get to actually writing a song? We wrote sort of a song, a sort of parts of a song and then we tried to tie it together and we just couldn't write the lyrics at all. Yeah. We started to write about a pony, a racehorse, something that we know nothing about. And uh, anyway. And wh now why was that selected as the topic for the song? If you know Because of the clip of the rhythm. It had uh, two banjos on it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Three. Three banjos. So what became of the documentary then? Um. <laughs> in the archives. <laughs> well, it became uh, more a story about Kate and I and what we did every yeah, day, yeah. which is basically fairly bo boring. Uh, uh, no, I wouldn't. Well, I mean, it's not boring to us, but it of might course. be boring to other people. Yeah. Now, uh, um, uh, I was reading this afternoon and have been told this, that your major desire uh, uh, via uh, recording music is not necessarily to become huge stars. Is that correct? What interview did we tell that to? <laughs> No, I, I mean, I think it's something beyond our control. I don't think it's we who decide who becomes huge stars. But I don't think it's really, uh, I don't think that's our image particularly. But you know, if you had a choice of staying at home in Montreal or traveling the world and destroying hotel rooms. <laughs> well, we can still do that and, you know, <laughs> well, I guess home. that's true. You don't really have to be a recording star to destroy hotel <laughs> no, rooms. So uh, uh, yeah. it's a, uh, very nice to meet you folks. I'm, I'm really happy you were here tonight. I enjoy your music a great deal. Thank you. Thank you. The McGarrigal Sisters folks, and we'll be back with Brian McConaughey. <laughs>